In this video, we're going to go over painting your chrome motorcycle wheels. Uh, you know, one of the best options uh, for changing colors on is, is to powder coat, but a lot of people don't have access to that or have the funds. But if you do it right, you can paint these and uh, really have a good finish, uh, durable finish, and turn out really well. So the first thing we need to do is clean these off with a good degreaser. All this grease that you see on here, once we try to, uh, we're gonna need to scuff this chrome up so our uh, etching primer and paint will stick good. Uh, if you got all this grease and, and uh, grime and junk on there, all it's gonna do is uh, clog up your sandpaper. So what we're gonna do now is wash this wheel with a good uh, degreaser and a toothbrush and get in all these little crevices and spokes and uh, get this thing cleaned up real good and get it ready to uh, sand. All the grease is off the wheel now and uh, now you need to take a piece of sandpaper. Uh, I'm gonna use a 120 and go around the chrome part. And what you want to do is scuff it up pretty good because you're not gonna get rid of all the chrome. You just want to kind of dull it down a little bit and, and get some grooves into it to where this etching primer will help it out a little bit uh, to stay on there. And also you wanna try to sand down a little bit of these uh, uh, spokes to get any uh, residue or anything that's left on there off. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get all this sanded down and we'll check back with you when we get ready to uh, uh, tape it up. I've laid down the first uh, coat of primer and you can see that's laid down real smooth and that's because we've uh, sanded that up and scuffed that up. If it would have been just straight onto the chrome, it would have ran, bubbled, it would have not looked well at all. And uh, it doesn't look like we're going to have to do any sanding to that uh, primer you know if you're laying down a coat of gloss paint or something on a, on a body or a tank or a fender or something you'd want to sand back through that uh, primer on, on a wheel it's almost better to have a rough uh, bumps and, and, and whatnot in your primer uh, to get a little better adhesion from your paint because you want to lay the paint on there pretty pretty tough you want this paint to uh, have a nice thick uh, coating on your wheel so it can uh, withstand uh, all the harsh chemicals from washing and uh, you know being able to wipe off a layer of grease or but that's looking real good so we'll uh, flip that over and get the other side taken care of and then uh, we'll come back and show you uh, the first coat of uh, uh, red apple red not candy apple red, but just red apple red. Okay, we uh, I've got our coats of paint on. I put on a one coat. Uh, depend on what the weather. We're in the direct sunlight, so it gets tacky pretty quick. Uh, and then come back, and uh, it's best just to use one can, a complete can on each wheel. Uh, that's a good guide. If you got more paint in your can, put it on there. Uh, usually one can, you might wind up with uh, four or five uh, different coats. And you have to stand this wheel up, come at it at several different angles to get your spokes covered well. And uh, you, we're using the Rust-Oleum paint, a good quality paint that's gonna have a, a protective layer, good thick uh, coating on there. And it's gonna act as well as you can expect uh, from spray paint. It's not, it's not going to give the durability of, uh, of uh, powder coating, that's obvious, but uh, it's a heck of a lot cheaper and gives a real good look. If you take care of your bike, it's going to last for a long time. All right, thank you guys for watching.